For the first time, I was actually experiencing what it meant to love. Hi, it's Bears. When I was growing up, love seemed like a very strange concept. I remember most specifically my dad when I was young, and he was a wonderful dad of a different tradition. So basically in my family, when my mother would list all my transgressions, my poor dad had to come home and be the disciplinarian. And one of the ways he was a disciplinarian is by taking out his strap from his pants and giving me a certain amount of wax depending upon the level and the amount of transgressions that I did during the day. I was like really a difficult child. So I saw that strap quite often. And I remember my father saying after at different times, uh, when he would hit me, he would say two things that were always mystical for me because I didn't understand them. One was, this hurts me more than it hurts you. And I remember thinking, really? Yes, I'm the one with the red butt. He wasn't the one with the red butt. But the other thing that he said to me was actually even much more challenging. I do this because I love you. And I remember thinking, oh my gosh, I hope a lot of people don't love me. Once I started to study about my beliefs and I started to ask myself what mattered to me and how I operated, I started to practice something that we teach now that we call the dialogue, the option process dialogue. And in the dialogue, it's not only a beautiful series of questions, Socratic questions, but it also sits on a foundation of a very special attitude. It's an attitude that includes being really present with a person, not judging a person, wanting the best for the person, not having an agenda, being non-directional, not having a, an agenda for where they should go. Those moments when I was working with people doing the option process dialogue, we call them power dialogues, doing power dialogues, they were the best, best time of my day. And I had a family. I loved my, my great lady at the time, who's my great lady through my whole life. I loved the children that I had. I had some children at that time. But I realized that I even had more fun. It was more exciting to be with these strangers and do these dialogues. And I kept asking myself, why? And I realized for the first time, I was actually experiencing what it meant to love. That actually with my children and with my family, I had judgments, I had expectations they weren't meeting, I wanted them to be different. I wanted them to be more responsive. I was sort of a bit self-righteous and silly. I would use unhappy motivators like getting annoyed or being impatient to sort of get them to change. But when I was doing power dialogues and the option process dialogue, I just relaxed. I just wanted the best for that person. They didn't need to do anything on my behalf. And there was something pure. There was a sanctuary inside that I created for myself. And I realized, ah, this is love. So I thought, okay, it's gonna be really helpful now if I really extract from what I'm doing a workable definition of love, which I wanna share with you. Here it goes. It's very simple. One, to love somebody means to really accept them, be happy with them. Accept them as they are, be happy with them. Number two means attitudinally to want the best for them and really want the best for them. And number three is to actually take action, do something useful, in this case, maybe asking somebody a question, and that completes a circle of loving somebody. So even now, when I work with literally thousands of people, and I go in and I teach groups, and I work with seminars or individuals or families. I walk into the room and my first thought is, no matter what I'm gonna teach you, no matter what we're gonna to practice together, no matter what dialogues we're gonna do and explore, no matter what meditations and class adventures we're gonna have, first, foremost, I'm here to love you. But I know what that means now. I'm here to deeply accept you, be happy with you. I'm here really deeply 
to want the best for you. And I'm aware of that all the time I'm with you. And then most significantly, in what I'm doing with asking questions, doing group dynamics, precipitating meditative experiences, I'm actually taking action to help you get the best and completing my circle of love with you. And I never waver from that intention. And I never waver from choosing to put myself in that place when I am working with people. And in effect, I have generalized that and I put myself in that place. It really seems like most often. Am I perfect at it? Probably not. But can I get more perfect at it? You bet. So I keep expanding my landscape of love. But first it required for me to understand what that meant to me. I hope what I said that I've learned is also helpful to you. Okay. Thanks. Bye.